I feel so stiff. Everybody's, everybody's been walking around and engaging everybody, and I'm just going to get up here and read. So here we go. Uh, everyone in my life laughed when I told them that I'd be talking on time management because everybody knows that I'm a workaholic. For me, time management isn't about freeing up time to take more vacations or to find ways not to work. It's about utilizing my time more effectively to increase my productivity. I view time as a commodity. For a lot of us, that's all that we have. People say time is money, and I take that literally. So my day starts the night before, designating where I'm going to spend my time the next day. I fix my schedule, I make a task list, because if it's not in your schedule, it's not going to happen. When you go grocery shopping, making a list ensures that you will spend your time more effectively and your budget more effectively. You don't wander the aisles tossing junk food in the basket. <laughs> well, you should, for the, for the sake of this, you should, okay? So if you list your schedule and uh, you list your, your daily tasks, you won't waste time on junk either. As agents, we've been known to get a little bit crazy with our goals. We, uh, we put together dream boards with extravagant homes and Lamborghinis. And we think about our long-term goals, but our annual goals are accomplished by daily tasks. This will help you stay on track. If you find yourself falling short on a monthly goal, as Grant Cardone says, don't decrease your goals, increase your actions. Adjustments are more easily made when we catch them early. Now speaking of early, you don't need to sleep so much. <laughs> now I, I know a lot of you say, well Dave, I, I need nine hours of sleep to function. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, <laughs> And this is why I like the quote, sleep faster. <laughs> if you cut your sleep by two hours a night, you will have 60 more waking hours each month. That's two and a half days every month, which adds up to 30 more days of productivity each year. Now, if you believe that time is a commodity, that's like waking up in the bank. Successful entrepreneurs ask themselves this question constantly. Who can I get to do this for me? For example, I think everyone should have a TC. This frees you up to generate more leads and work with more new clients. Decide what pieces that you have to do yourself and what pieces that you can outsource. Delegating tasks isn't always easy, but it is a necessity for top producers. And now you're all thinking, well, I don't get vacations, I don't get to sleep nine hours a day, I quit this job. <laughs> the truth is, time off in our line of work is tricky because when you can always be reached, people expect you to be reachable. I'm going to point you back to your daily schedule here. I take small breaks, a morning here, an afternoon there, to be with my family. I make sure that I set expectations early on with my clients. John Butler, this extraordinarily handsome guy over here with the bald head. Yeah. Uh, I did a transaction with John uh, last year, and, and I learned this from him. Uh, if you reach John after five, he says, you've reached John's cellular command center. If you call after five, I'm spending time with my family, but your call will be returned the next day. So now, I put onto my voicemail. I, th I thought originally, I could never do that. I couldn't, I couldn't afford to miss a phone call. But now, once my pipeline is full, I can say, and I set this, this expectation early with my clients, if you call me between 6 and 8, I'm going to be spending time with my family. After 8 o'clock, I'll return your phone call. Set your expectations early on and reiterate those expectations on your voicemail. That's important. If you're taking time away, change your voicemail to reflect when your clients should be able to expect a phone call back. Now, this is what's going to get me in trouble, and I apologize here, Brett, uh, for what I'm about to do. Um, don't spend too much time on conferences. Don't spend too much time in classes or in meetings or with motivational hoopla. Time <laughs> is money. People get wrapped up in, in going to motivational conferences and hearing people speak and tell them about all the money that they can make. If you just pay me this, your time when you're getting started is money. So invest your time wisely. Don't get caught up in learning to become a real estate agent. You're a real estate agent, you made it. <laughs> so don't try to become perfect before you get started because you'll run out of money before you ever get a home in escrow. The best thing to do when learning to practice real estate is to practice real estate. <coughs> Invest a large majority of your time and your business in practicing real estate and make adjustments as you go. I told my wife when I got started a couple of year, or a year and a half ago, 
The first two years are going to be a struggle. We're going to sacrifice, but if we work like crazy for two to three years, it's going to be put to work for us for the next 20 to 30 years. For me, time management is largely about my daily tasks, my schedule, my quarterly and annual goals, but it's also about a bigger picture. I'm investing my time heavily now, building a foundation that will work for me for the next several years to come.